Hi there, day 54, I believe. Uh, geez, slowly, the uh, I'm uh, you know getting towards the end of this. Uh, I tell you, there are days like today where if I didn't have the challenge, I probably wouldn't have done anything. Uh, but uh, I spent a good an hour and a half or so uh, reading the transcript of Kim Jong Ha's um, podcast on my iPad uh, since I've gone through and saved all the words now. It's hard. There's lots of stuff I don't understand. Stand. There's lots of words that I can't even get a definition uh, from the dictionary for. Uh, but I kind of understand it. And every time I read it, I understand it a bit more and when I listen. And it, it kind of reminded me that, you know, some people can't deal with the fact that they don't understand. To me, I think not understanding is a condition of language learning. There's always things that I don't understand. There's always whole sentences that I don't understand. There's individual words that I don't understand. There's forms of a language. Why is it this form instead of that form that I don't understand? And I, that doesn't bother me. I just proceed uh, reading, getting what I can out of it, interpreting it my way, exposing myself to the language. Because I have the experience, I know that eventually it will become clearer. But a lot of people, and we see this on our forum at LinkedIn, like what does this word mean this particular word and they're so fussed about those things and in a way all the time we spend at least my way of learning is the time that I spend trying to nail those things down is time that I could be spent it could be spending absorbing more and more of the language so I think it's important to accept the fact that there's always things that we don't understand just as we will always not always but we we learn from making mistakes I believe we also learn from working with material where we don't understand and it shouldn't bother us. I think people want things nailed down too much. Uh, someone asked me here on my YouTube channel, you know, I'm learning French, but do you think French is a useful language? I mean, I've learned, I'm learning Korean. How useful is Korean? What's your definition of useful? Um, learn Chinese because it's useful? I'm not sure it will be useful, uh, despite all the hype. Uh, however, uh, Chinese is a fascinating language, fascinating culture. Uh, guaranteed, you'll have lots of rich encounters with uh, with Chinese people, with Chinese culture and so forth. Useful, unless you're doing business in China, probably not so useful. Same way with French. Uh, you may end up doing business in a French-speaking country, but uh, more than that, uh, French, you can access the literature, you can travel and enjoy France. So every language is useful. Uh, I, I never question, you know, is this more useful than that? I don't know. Czech was useful when I visited the Czech Republic. Romanian was useful when I was in Romania. So um, anyway, I will continue now. You know, if I didn't have to do these videos every day and wait for them to load up, I'd have another 15, 20 minutes to spend on my Korean learning. But I will continue doing these until the end of the 90 day challenge. I hope you guys are all working hard.